In this video, we're going to investigate what y is equal to 2 to the x looks like. Okay, so y is equal to 2 to the x is a type of function that we haven't met before, and so its behaviour is something that will be new to us. So the first thing to do when you've got a strange new function to look, look at and see what it looks like is to really plot some points. So let's say we choose some x values. So if we choose some x values, we're going to get some respective y values out of it. So let's choose minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3, for example. Then here I would get 2 to the power of minus 3. Now, 2 to the power of minus 3 is 1 over 8. OK, so uh, we can check all of these on a calculator. 2 to the power of minus 2, well, that's 1 quarter. We've got 2 to the power of minus 1, well, that's 1 half. We've got 2 to the power of 0, well, that's 1. 2 to the power of 1 is 2. 2 to the power of 2, well, that's 4. And 2 to the power of 3, well, that's 8. So we can see that this curve, firstly, will go through 0, 1. So it goes through 1 on the y-axis. OK, so we know that it goes through 1. As x increases, so x increases 1, 2, and 3, y is also increasing, 2, 4, 8. In fact, y is doubling each time. And so, because y is doubling, we're going to get 16, 32, 64, 128, 256. You can see that the curve will get steep very, very quickly, okay? And so, to the right of the y-axis, the curve must increase in this kind of fashion. So the curve increases as x increases. So the gradient of the curve increases as x increases, okay? As we get further along the line. So to the right of the y-axis, that's what the curve must look like. To the left of the y-axis, well, what we're finding is that when we go from minus 1 to minus 2 to minus 3, the y value is going from a half to a quarter to an eighth, then it will be a sixteenth, then a thirty-second, then a sixty-fourth, then a hundred twenty-eighth, then two hundred fifty-sixth, and so it's getting small very, very quickly, and it's getting closer and closer and closer to zero, but we'll never quite reach it but it's getting closer and closer to it. And so the curve must decrease towards zero to the left of the y-axis. And this is what y is equal to 2 to the x looks like. It never crosses the x-axis because there's no value of x that I can substitute into this to get y to be zero. It doesn't matter if I choose 2 to the minus 1,000. That's a very, very, very small number, and it's very, very, very close to zero, but it's still not quite zero. And it doesn't matter how negative I make that number, it will still never reach zero. And so it will never cross the x-axis. And this is a generic curve, uh, generic shape rather, for what we refer to as exponential curves. So you might have heard of the idea of uh, a something increasing exponentially quickly. And this is this concept of how the curve increases very quickly. And so this, these exponential curves, like y is equal to 2 to the x, y is equal to 3 to the x, y is equal to 4 to the x, they look like this. And we're going to compare y is equal to 2 to the x to these different curves in the next video.